Ministries. My name is Dylan Dilly and I'm the founder and leader. Today we're going to be doing a devotion on His Everlasting Love. And to begin, let's open up with a word of prayer. Father God, I want to thank you for your word. And I pray that our eyes and ears would be focused on you as we go into this devotion, Father. Thank you so much for your unstoppable and unending love, Father. In Jesus' glorious name I pray. Amen. To start this devotion, I have quite a bit of scripture out that I was reading last night, and I want to talk to you about it. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to turn to Romans 8, starting at verse 31. Romans chapter 8, verses 31 through 39. And this is the New Living Translation. The title for this is, Nothing Can Separate Us From God's Love. What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did not even spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? No one, for God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? No one. For Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hunger or distute or in danger or are threatened with death? As the scriptures say, for your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. God's love is everlasting, never ending, and unstoppable. And as that scripture says, nothing can separate us from God's love. And God's love surpasses everything. And sometimes I can say that I've forgotten that. And I've been in areas of my life where I just didn't really feel loved at all. I was just depressed, broken, and unsure of what the point was. And I can remember a time in my life where I just drug myself around every day. And I would act happy, but on the inside, I was broken. But finally, one day, I set my ego aside. I began to focus on the one thing that was becoming a bigger part of my life that I mean, I never even thought would be a part of my life. God began to show me His love. And God's love is so amazing. I mean, here I stand, only a teenager, sharing His word and the experiences in my life. Because of God's love, I'm now in a position where I'm filled with His love and I'm filled with His joy. And I just want to share it with everyone. I don't want any of you out there watching to miss out on the love God has for you. And his love broke the bondages of depression in my life. His love restored my heart to a whole new. His love heals me. And his love changed my life forever. And I can keep going on, on about how many things God's love has done for me. And once you allow his love in, nothing, and I mean nothing, can separate you from his love. God's love can and will change your life completely the moment you allow it in. Another thing that verse said, if God is for us, who can ever be against us? And um, nothing in our lives can come against us as long as we have God's love in us. And sometimes I get hit with something and I'll question where God is. And he says to that, I'm always with you, but you have to be willing to let me in. And that makes me realize I'm not really letting God's love in fully. And by doing that, I'm not allowing him in. And there comes a time in our lives where we just have to let go and allow God to come in and take control. And sometimes having faith in God can be tough. And there have been moments in my life where I kind of fall back on that. But when that happens, things get worse. And when I've had faith in God and allowed Him in, things were restored and set free. 
And God's love is powerful and it's in all of us. The only question is, are you willing to accept it? Let's close in a word of prayer. Father God, thank you so much for your love. I pray that your love would never leave us, Father, and that we would share your love with everyone around us. In Jesus' glorious name I pray. Amen. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information, you can go to our website, myheartministries.weebly.com. And if you have any prayer needs, we would love to pray for you. You can email us at myheartprayer@gmail.com, or you can go to the contact page on our website and fill out a contact form. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.